Trayvon Martin case has split America with emotions running high. I interviewed George Zimmerman's brother, Robert, last night. My next guest has been very vocal about that interview on Twitter and on other airways. Joining me now is pop culture commentator Toure. Toure, you seem very exercised about my interview with Robert Zimmerman. Tell me why. Let me explain to you a little bit of what's at stake here. This is a major moment in American history, and America's reaching a bit of a boiling point in terms of dealing with this issue. And when we allow misinformation and obfuscation and people to be confused about the truth about what's going on, then we become part of the problem and not part of seeking a solution. And you became part of the problem by allowing Robert Zimmerman to come on your show and spread misinformation and perhaps prevarification prevarication throughout the waves, which we know many people will believe. I mean, the number one problem with having him on the air is the two of them, George and Robert, haven't spoken in years. And that comes from George Zimmerman's attorney. You know, at NBC in the hallways, we were laughing at you today. We wouldn't take him. Standards and practices at NBC wouldn't even let him get through the door. And you had him on the air and allowed the hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands or whatever number of people watch your show listen to what he had to say. And you weren't really challenging him the way that you needed to, the way that we needed you to, the way that other more responsible journalists are doing. We spoke to Joe Oliver, uh, the family advisor, uh, about an hour ago. He rang uh, George and Robert Zimmerman's father, who has confirmed there is no estrangement. They all talk regularly. So the Joe factually Oliver incorrect, is incorrect a about major that. problematic source yes, in you, all of this. He with is respect, functioning as a major with source respect, of obfuscation. With, so we can't even with, listen to what with, he's talking with respect, about. With respect, Tori, you've had your say. Let me just have mine. You are incorrect about the estrangement. You shouldn't believe everything you're being told. You've been very vocal. You tried to portray me as an unprofessional journalist who last night didn't challenge Robert Zimmerman. Anybody with a dispassionate mind who watched that interview saw me challenge him repeatedly throughout the 20 or so minutes that we conducted that interview. Let's play a clip and show you what I mean. How do you explain as a family the video that came out last night with your brother within you know, not much time after this incident, walking around unaided, perfectly okay, with no apparent markings to his face. I mean, if you get a broken nose or the kind of head injury sustainable from having your head smashed on a concrete floor, you're gonna have blood everywhere. You're gonna have visible injuries. Th there is nothing. I mean, we're looking well, at the images now. Th there's no visible sign of any attack. How do you explain that? We're confident the uh, medical records are going to explain all of George's medical history. Now, unless I'm mistaken, Torre, that is a clear challenge by me about the veracity of what he's telling me. So what are you talking about? Well, what did Robert Zimmerman say in response to that? And what did you say in response to his response? I heard you tried. I appreciate that you are among those of us who agree that Zimmerman said, George Zimmerman said coon on the tape. I saw you try to push him on that issue. He obfuscated and allowed those who want to believe that he didn't say coon, which is rather clear to many of us, uh, you allowed him to sort of prevaricate and say, well, maybe it wasn't, and maybe it was a different word, and you allow him to talk about he's the most honest brother. How would that even be quantified? And why is that not challenged? Did, you allowed him to say he the, was going to Target again, and not again, a neighborhood watch. I, how, what are you talking I don't wish about? To, yes, Torre, Torre, calm down. I don't wish to give you a lesson in how to be a professional journalist. Well, you couldn't you do that. If you let me finish, if you watch the interview back, you will see that I challenge him repeatedly about that particular choice of words that his brother used under his breath, repeatedly, as any professional journalist would do. What is the next part of the interview where you say I didn't challenge him? Remind I mean, me. Well, I've already said several that you allow him to say he's the most honest Remind brother. me of some where I did... What remind me mean? of some where I... Remind me of some moments in the interview or I didn't challenge him. Because you've you been very about vocal all day about this. He said that he was going to Target and not on the neighborhood watch. We've pretty, I think we've pretty much established that he was on the neighborhood watch and not going to Target with his gun. Tell me, what do you think factually happened, Toro? Because you seem to be 
uh, abreast of many more facets of information than anybody else at the moment. Tell well, me what you I think mean, happened. I'm not abreast of any more facets of information than anybody else at MSNBC. We all share the information that is coming into us from multiple sources. So we're all MSNBC as has, anybody has MSNBC. Over there. MSNBC MSNBC, as has NBC, have all been running clips from my interview without challenging the veracity of the testimony. Well, and nor are they quibbling. That's... Nor are they quibbling with they. Nor are they quibbling with the news value of the brother of George Zimmerman going on the record that's... for the first time and giving his version of events. At no that's stage did I say untrue. I agreed. At no stage. Wait a minute. At no stage did I give any sense that I agreed with what he was saying. I challenged him repeatedly about many of the things that he was saying. You we understand just clear, which establishes as challenging, that. perhaps, maybe that goes in England. That's not what we do in terms of challenging in America. I saw a person who was saying things that didn't ring true to me. And I would have liked to see him pushed and challenged, more follow-up, more pushback, more research to understand what you're saying does not ring true, sir. And I don't really which part of the, uh, what you're talking which about. Part of this, which part of this story do you think I'm not really uh, aware of and not well-researched? Well, given I've been covering it for a week now, I've interviewed Trayvon's parents. A whole week? I've interviewed uh, wow. George Zimmerman's brother. I've been... Yeah, I've been running this for a week, and I'm very interested to know which part of this story you don't think that I am fully aware of the facts about. Well, I mean, Explain I just, to me. Well, just, I mean, the story that Robert Zimmerman wants to tell about this beating is cannot possibly be true. So, yes, you're pushing back a lightly, a little bit, just a tiny little bit, but when we look at this videotape where he's walking through the Sanford Police Department, it's impossible that his story is true. So at that point, we can't give him a light pushback. We have to give him a much tougher follow-up than that because his story Actually, no, you see, that's, but that's where true. Torre... Torre, you see, that unfortunately is where you are revealing yourself to not be a professional journalist because actually from that video, you cannot see for a 100% fact that he has or hasn't broken his nose. You the can brother see said quite very clearly. clearly Wait that a minute. Person allow me to finish. Puffy, allow it is sure to allow me that he has to finish. not had a bloody allow nose me, in the last allow 30 me, minutes. That's quite clear. Allow me to finish. We do not know if it was cleared up. We don't know this information yet. We also know it can't thanks be to the interview up with his broken bro nose in Allow minutes, me to years? finish a sentence, Torre. I also got Robert Zimmerman to say categorically that the medical records will substantiate the broken nose. That is a very revealing piece of information. I look forward to if seeing that. Out. If they do, exactly. But at least we now know that the family believe the medical records will confirm their story. At no stage in that interview did I say I believed a word of what he was saying. We'll take a short break now. More of my interview with Torre when we come back.